If the alternator isn't charging the battery, check the alternator fuse and check the connections on the alternator. The alternator must have power first from the battery to start generating power. To test if the alternator is getting power, turn the car key to on, and check if the alternator connector has power. Before starting the engine, check the battery volts. It should be around 12.6 volts. If it's below 12.2 volts, either the battery should be replaced and can no longer hold a charge, or it's discharged or drained, and should be recharged soon. If a good battery remains at this low voltage for extended time, it will be ruined. Then start the engine and set the multimeter to a low range AC volts, and check for any volts AC. There shouldn't be more than 0.5 volts, but some new cars can have up to 1 volts AC. More than that will damage the battery and the electrical components. <laughs> Then set the multimeter on 20 volts DC, and increase the RPM. No matter how much you increase the RPM, there shouldn't be any reading above 15 volts, and also shouldn't be big voltage fluctuating more than 2 volts, and should stay between 13 and 15 volts. Then turn all the accessories on. Headlights, fog lights, blower, cabin lights. Then increase the RPM to 1500. There shouldn't be any reading below 13 volts. While some smart ECU controlled alternators can stop charging the battery intermittently once fully charged. To reduce fuel consumption, but continue providing all the car needs with power. So it's normal to find sometimes that the alternator stops charging or charging at 12.7 volts, and can also reach 15.5 or more volts in certain circumstances, like when in cold cranking. Then checking the cables for a dropping voltage. All accessories on. To check the positive cable connect one lead on the battery positive terminal and the other on the B-plus post on the alternator. There shouldn't be any reading above 0.3 volts. And then to check the negative cable connect one lead to the negative battery terminal and the other to the alternator case. If there's a reading on any cable more than 0.3 volts, track the cable from the battery to the alternator and check for any corrosion or weak connections. Now testing the diode to check if it's not draining the battery, and only passing current one way from the alternator to the battery and not also the opposite way. Disconnecting the battery terminals. Negative terminal first and then the positive terminal.
multimeter on the diode mode. Connect the multimeter leads one to the B plus post on the alternator and the other on the alternator case. And then swap the leads. One way you should get a reading from 0.2 to 0.8 dropping volts for most cars, but not more than 1.3 volts. And the other way you should get a very high resistance or OL. If you find this video useful, please subscribe so we can make more videos, and thank you for watching.